Hello and welcome back to Love World Today, recorded from our UK studios. My name is Katrina and I'm very happy and excited to be with you again. So, we are still in the month of March, which is our month of mounting. Alright, let's get started with our scripture reading today. So, we're going to read from Proverbs uh, chapter 4, verse 23. So let me read it for you. Keep the heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. What does this mean for us? Your heart is the most important part of your body. So is your spiritual heart, which is your spirit. That's why you need to be very careful with the things you let into your heart. Don't let junk get into your heart. Filter the kind of information you hear. This is very important. When people, for example, bring negative information to you, how do you react? How do you deal with it? Do you take it at face value without evidence? Even if you think there is some evidence, don't care about it. Stick to the Word of God and what the Word of God says about you. Only then you will be able to guard your heart, to determine what you let in, and this will eventually determine the way you live. If you want to get to know more about God's Word, go to www.pastorchrisonline.org. Next is our Highlight of the Week segment. Stay tuned! Welcome back! Well, I am so excited about today's highlight of the week. Why? Let me give you a tip. On Sunday, history was made at the autumn session of the healing schools, Pastor Chris. So let me tell you what happened there. History was made on Sunday with an impact that will last for generations, as many got healed at the 2015 autumn session of the healing school. The session concluded with exhortation, salvation and benediction. At the session, students on the healing line, visit, visiting ministers, partners of the healing school, all had one thing in common. They came with faith and expectations, witness and experience an outpouring of the healing, anointing through the ministry of the man of God, Pastor Chris Oyakilome. A gentleman who came to the healing school suffering from stroke and hypertension got healed. The man of God also admonished the congregation to trust in the Word of God, stating that the blessings we are enjoying now are not new. We are discovering newly and freshly what has been in the world all this time, he said. He made a call for those unsafe to receive the Lord Jesus Christ as their Lord and many came forward eager to become partakers of everlasting life. Pastor Chris ended this glorious service by declaring words of blessing upon the congregation, charging them up with the anointing of God's Spirit. What a blissful encounter of the fullness of God's divine and everlasting life. Wow, isn't it amazing? So many people got healed and transformed. Wow, I'm so excited. Let's start with Heaven's Kitchen. It is important to eat healthy if you want to live longer and serve the Lord better. Now, Heaven's Kitchen teaches you how you can live healthy for less. A bit of paprika, just for the color, just a pinch of, um, depending on how much pepper you can eat, it's just a pinch of paprika. Then, because I'm not going to use any salt to cook this fish, I'm going to use fish sauce, which you can get in any of your grocery stores. When you're using fish 
fish sauce you don't need to use oil you don't need to use salt because it has a lot of salt in it next thing I'm going to put is a bit of soy sauce just to give your fish as much taste as you can get so just some drops of soy sauce and then while this is getting all the tastes wrapped up inside I'm just gonna put on the grill now you could get a grill from your basic stores from any store that sells electronics or electrical items a small grill is all you need to get this going we're going to pop the fish with the skin and all into the grill and leave it for about six to ten minutes to grill as desired now it has to be properly cooked when you put your fish in the grill make sure you press it down depending on the type of grill you're using and while that is going on while that is grilling we're just going to get ready to make our yam fingers okay so um jeremy if you could help me certainly yes happy to do that pop in some i just pop in some oil with my this is just some olive oil to help to Okay. To fry, yeah. Okay, yeah. So we're just going to put it on on let's put it on seven to heat up. Okay. So the yam is just normal yam. You get the yam tubers which we get from tropical countries, but these days because of um, technology, we're able to get anything anywhere. So you could get yam anywhere you want. It's in any of the grocery stores. Just ask for yam. It's a root tuber crop. It's very very um, tasty. We know that um, we are saying that crops that grow below the ground are not supposed to be peeled, but yam is an exception to that rule. You need to peel your yam before you eat it. The alternative is if you want to grill it, like in this season where you have barbecues, mm -hmm. you could just, you know, pop off all the dirt on the yam, grill it, and then peel it after it's been oh, grilled. Right. So okay. it gives you that smoky barbecue taste. And you can eat it with anything. Mm, it's good so to know. This yam is already peeled and uh, slightly salted. Mm -hmm. So we'll just wait for the oil to heat up a bit. Once it heats up, Jeremy, can you just be nice enough to pop the yam for me? Yep. Nicely. Do you want them one at a time or? Not really one at a time, all of them, but just line them up, make sure. Certainly, yeah. When the oil is seasoning. Do you know how to check if oil is ready? No, tell me. How do, how do you do okay, that? If you have some little water, Mm -hmm. and you just spray it and you hear that sizzling sound okay. and you know the water is ready. In this environment now where, no, where there is no water, you could just test it by doing this. Oh, no, it's, not sizzling. it's not sizzling yet? No, so, so it's, it's not, not ready. ready. Okay. Exactly. Welcome back. Now, there is an event coming up in April, the first of its kind. It is called the Love World Festival of Music and Arts. It is taking place from the 24th to the 26th of April 2015 in Johannesburg, South Africa. If you want to join the fun and excitement and if you think you have something to give, a talent that you would like to showcase, then join the team and watch this clip. Rise and shine. Your light has come Levels unfold, unseen, now seen, inside, see, I see, visualize, imagine I, I see with eternal eye, internalize, I behold, beyond me, beyond we, beyond here, beyond brain, beyond sin, we insane, we out sane, beyond imagination, new life. New day, manifestation of greatness, creation's been waiting to see like a movie. So it's light, camera action, we on and we bright. Flashing his majesty's radiance, flight to come when his work done. Till that day come, we new breed. We are burning, God is light inside us. Fiercely on fire, he's the one that guides us. There ain't no mountain too high, there ain't no river too wide, there ain't no limits to the light.
Welcome back! By popular demand, we are reviewing another episode of Business Intelligence. This episode is about entrepreneurship and we are focusing on the construction industry. So if you want to start a construction company, watch this clip. Should be the uh, project. Uh, that, that's our aim to finish it within six weeks. Anyway, so, yeah. so we can come back in six weeks and see. Oh, absolutely, you see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you should. You should be able to see a big difference. Yeah, so, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. so yeah, that that will be. Yeah. yeah. You'll, you'll definitely see a massive difference. I'm, yeah. I'm looking forward. I'm quite yeah. expecting. Spotlight in here. We've got sockets going in, data points, TV points over there, and uh, these are the guys that work with me. Is he a good boss? Yeah, good boss. Yeah. This is, yeah. This is, this is, yeah. <laughs> okay, this is uh, Florin. Yeah. He's, he's the head guy. Okay. He runs. He's the main man. He runs the project. How you doing? Good. This is good. Farad. He's uh, one of the trainees, and this is Bob. Then he's uh, one of the workers. Yeah. 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 yeah, so we just started this job today. Fantastic. So, wow. uh, you know, hopefully we've got about six weeks. We should be all done. My goodness. You know, everything goes well. Well, well. Okay. Yeah. Um, so how did you go about getting this particular contract? Yeah. Uh, contracts, generally, it's a word of mouth. It's people that know me. Mm. Uh, I've been in the business for a long time. How long precisely? I've been in the business for about uh, 20, coming, coming to about... 20 years, about 1992, about 20, 23 years now. My gosh. Uh, I started this. So we originally started as electricians mm. and uh, doing plumbing work. And then from that, we moved on to small building contracts mm -hmm. and it's just growing from there. Wow. You know, yeah. So if you have to say a little about the building industry, what would you say in simple terms? What is the, 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 the building industry? Building industry, I think it's a good industry. Mm -hmm if you're established oh okay to get established is quite difficult you know it's a bit of persevering and secondly the most important thing you have to know what you're doing Don't. right i mean <laughs> we do have a lot of fly-by-night builders who unfortunately hmm. they get into the game um, but like i said it's very difficult because if you make little little mistakes they can cost you a lot of money absolutely you know and that's the most important thing you know okay. because like i said one little mistake can probably cost you thousands of pounds. Probably not worth you doing that job, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. if, it, if it's, you know, goes into figures like that. Yeah. But yeah, but like I said, as for me getting work, generally word of mouth, um, there's a lot of people, you know, and I also have contracts that I've had for the last 15, 20 years. Okay, so you, you've so got repeat people, customers yeah, yeah, coming in. a lot of repeat brilliant, customers, brilliant. that's right. Um, yeah. And so if I, I wanted to find out from you, like, Let's say somebody is trying to get into this particular industry. What kind of trainings and qualifications do they have to have? To get into the building industry, first of all, you have to have the right qualifications to get into the building industry. Mm -hmm. Depending in what field you want to go in, because building industry is huge. huge. It's not just you know you've got you know from building, plastering, plumbing, electric. It's, it's quite massive. Okay. Uh, depending what you want to do, you need to get into that field. You need to work in that field, mm -hmm. train in that field, and once you have trained, then you can possibly move forward. Okay. But that will be the best way to go about getting into a building industry. The last thing you want to do is go into a job be there for about a month and say, you know what, I know how to do it. No. Yeah, course, it yeah. don't work like so that. So you, yeah. you, you, you think apprenticeship is pro possibly a, a way a, of going a, about appre it? Apprenticeship would probably be the best way to go about okay. it. Okay. But like I said, these days it's quite difficult mm. 
to get a proper apprenticeship, okay. especially with the way the market is at the moment. The market is extremely commercial. Mm -hmm. Unlike quite, you know, quite a few years ago, mm -hmm. you know, it wasn't, you know, it was more about workmanship than, <laughs> you know, <laughs> workmanship than trying to turn the works over. Yeah. But these days, what the client wants, they want the jobs in and out as quick as possible. So, so exactly, you know, being on exactly what the client wants. What are they expecting? What, what, what is the expectation of the clients? What do they want from you? And, uh, well, first of all, the client wants a very good job. Okay. Yeah, or the best job you can give them. Uh, you need to be able to give guarantees. Okay. The client must be able to contact you at any time. Of course, within reason. Okay. Absolutely. If they have any issues, they must be able to get hold of you. Mm -hmm. And I think that's quite important for any successful building company is the actual contractors are available for their clients. I think that's quite important. And yeah, absolutely, the, the finishing, you know, to, to give them a finished product to their satisfaction, mm -hmm. you know, and give them the guarantee and the paperwork that go with it. Mm -hmm. Next is Rhapsody Travels. The messenger angel Rhapsody has impacted so many lives around the world. This time Rhapsody travels to Montenegro. Watch this clip. And on today's episode of Rhapsody Travels, it's a journey to a country in southeastern Europe, Montenegro, also known as the Pearl of the Mediterranean. We want Rhapsody in every hand and with every person. Rhapsody spread throughout Montenegro. Rhapsody teaches us about the Word of God, and we are so thankful for this. Montenegro, meaning Black Mountain, is one of the newest and most beautiful countries in the world. With a population of about 600,000 people, the country became an independent nation in 2006 and is part of the Balkans, a geographical region of Southeast Europe. I am Armand Mila and I work in the tourism organization of Ulcim. Montenegro, it is a very nice country with a lot of history behind, with a lot of natural beauties, and it is a country which represents us all. Though small in size, Montenegrin towns are rich in art and architecture and offers great diversity and natural beauty. The country also has numerous lakes and rivers, influencing lives and transforming nations around the world. Rap City of Realities, the world's number one daily devotional, indeed carries a message of hope and love, and it's impacting the cities of Montenegro, causing definite changes in the lives of those who have come in contact with it. Dragan works as a chef and culinary instructor in the city of Olchin. He and his wife Diana have constantly read Rhapsody of Realities for four years now. I am Dragan Briskovic. I am living in Ulci. This is my life. This name Diana. Diana is for a moment in the Shestanian costumes. Shestanian costumes from Ulci, Montenegro. And uh, my family is uh, every day is uh, reading the Rhapsody of Realities for four years. Uh, it's uh, uh, very good, it's very beautiful, my blessed mind, my family. In my family, I added it to five persons. It's my father, mother, my child, Alexander, and this Diana. Diana is uh, coming from West Albania, uh, eight years living with me. This is my, one uh, very, very uh, blessed uh, woman for me. One very good mom is for my children, 
my my the chef, uh, my very really like it, my my work. My name is international artist in gastronomy art in culinary arts. Welcome back. Next is Pastor Chris teaching, and this message is titled Isaiah 60. This chapter in the Bible was written by one of the greatest prophets of all. Pastor teaches us how to make the Word of God effective in our lives. Watch this clip. Glory to God. All right, now let's see where we're at. On God's timetable. And this is nice. The book of Isaiah, chapter number 60. Isaiah chapter 60. And we will start reading from verse 1. And I want you to follow this carefully because it's so, so powerful. He says, Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Notice the tenses. He's not making a promise. He says, the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Blessed Lord, the glory of the Lord is risen upon me. Hallelujah. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. Like you're hearing about today. All around the world. But the Lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Glory. His glory shall be seen upon you. In other words, others are going to look at you and they're going to say, Wow, glory to God for you. <laughs> Hallelujah. I like it. Oh boy. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Glory to God. Look at this. Lift up thine eyes round about and see. All they gather themselves together, they come to thee. Hallelujah! There's some of you, you prayed, you labored, you tried, you toiled, you did so much. Well, lift your eyes now because they're coming. Glory to God. They're coming. He says, lift your eyes. Look round about you. See all they gather themselves together. They come to thee. Thy sons shall come from far. And thy daughters shall be nursed at thy side. Then thou shalt see and flow together. Shout amen somebody. Wow. Look at this. Verse 5. Then you will look and be radiant. Your heart will throb and swell with joy. I know you're not saying that in the King James. I, I, I knew that. I did that purposely. Glory to God. Because I, I noticed something in the King James there, in that verse 5, that doesn't rhyme with how we put it today when it says thine heart shall be enlarged and when you talk about enlargement of the heart that's a medical problem and, <laughs> and so I decided to skip that that translation for a moment <laughs> glory to God because I'm not going to join King James to confess negatively welcome back thank you very much for watching and being with me here today don't forget to go on to your course to follow Pastor Chris life. And the last thing I would like to say today, keep building a happier world with love. God bless you. Bye bye.